Hello everybody, Welton over here, wrapping up the seven primary jobs that a CEO should never delegate. In the previous few videos, I talked about the first five and today I'm going to wrap up, talk about the final two. Again, just to recap, the first one here is clarity on point A and point B. Step two is to identify the gap and the obstacles. Step three is to design the plan and the machine. Step four is allocate of resources. Number five is hire and maintain eight players. And today we're going to talk about the final two, which is building the org chart. And number seven is creating the culture. These two are things, again, that a CEO or a owner should never delegate. So let's talk about building the org chart. And it's not just using your existing right amount of people you have uh, and then laying out the org chart. What you want is to, on a blank sheet of paper, really engineer, right, the, it's an outcome-based org chart. Don't even um, figure out who you have right now. You sit down on a clean sheet of paper and try to figure out, hey, this is what an ideal org chart should be. Put the outcome, that these are outcome and accountability on each of those rows first. Once you're done, then you put existing staff member on there. And then it's a very, very clear picture of whether you have the right person, right, in the right seat so far. So that is, again, that's what a CEO should be doing, is just really figure out, hey, do I have enough staff for now, the right type of, uh, the right type of talents? And what we typically do over here is we also have an org chart for the next year, and through years to come. So we get to start figuring out, do we need layers? Do we need managers? Do we need to ascend existing staff member up, right? Start training them to become a, maybe a second level or third level group leader manager. So again, number six is build the org chart. Number seven is the CEO and the owner should dictate, create the culture. Culture is very interesting. Right when you walk in, let's say uh, if you walk into a library, right? We all know the library has its own culture. Everybody is very very quiet there. Versus walking into McDonald's, everybody's loud. Right, you don't need to dress up. You can go in however you want. Versus going to high end restaurant, right? That's the culture. So the CEO should be the one creating the culture. That's how people talk to each other, treat one another, right? It's essentially the culture. It really is not, right? How much swags you have. Uh, you have you have tons of snags uh, in the kitchen, whether you can bring right your dog to work. It's not that, right? Those are just swags, right? And benefits, right? And a great culture is based on showing other people that you care accountability, measuring, and a desire for excellence, right? So the CEO sets the example in a tone of the business culture. So over here, for example, we have 10 core values, right? That's written on the wall. Uh, we we uh, appra appraise and uh, recommend uh, teammates based on the 10 core values. Those are our right, culture here. So again, just to recap, seven things that a CEO should never delegate. First is clarity on point A and point B. Second is identifying the gap and the obstacle. Third is design the plan and the machine. Number four is allocate the resources. Number five is to hire and maintain eight players. Number six is build the org chart or outcome-based org chart or accountability chart. Number seven is creating the culture.